Well, hi there, this is DBT. And alright, it's time to finally get playing Doom Eternal with... The Ancient Gods. Part 2. So, this is the second DLC for Doom Eternal. And actually, I tried to record this, but I started noticing some issues. So, this is actually my second attempt to recording this. I'll explain a little bit where the issues were. I will just say that there is a very big possibility that the sounds will be a bit weird, like lagging. So, I do apologize for that, but I'm having some technical issues with the hardware so i'll go into a bit of detail after we watch the starting cutscene of this thing because i want you to enjoy this previously on the ancient gods part one the war against evil continue as the slayer resurrected the dark lord himself in an act of defiance against the makers leaving the heavens in ruins, the Slayer must now survive the treacherous journey to Emora, the capital city of Hell, to face the Dark Lord in ritual combat. Okay. If the Slayer is victorious, any demons outside of Hell would be destroyed and all connections to the Dark Realm would be severed. If he loses, the Dark Lord and his armies will rule all. Alright, so there we have it. Oh, no, 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 wait, there's still um, a cutscene. So again, if the sound is a bit off, I'm sorry, I apologize, but, you know, we'll have to live with this for now. Naked boy. Cool, Mr. Tattoo Boy. Alrighty, so. Let's just enjoy that. So, alright. Uh, what should I talk about first? The game or my issues? I guess I'll talk about the game just a little bit. Um... I've only played this, this DLC once, right when it came out, and I played it in Ultra Violence. Because um, I figured that the first DLC kicked my ass in Nightmare, so I wanted to start at a slightly easier point, because I thought that this was going to be harder. Alright, cool. So yeah, I played this um, on Ultra Violence because I thought this was going to be harder than the Ancient Gods Part 1. Turns out that it isn't. It's um, about the same difficult... No, no, no. It's actually easier. Which, honestly, I think it's a good thing. Um, I personally found the first DLC tiresome. Um, it was fun. The, 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 the fights were challenging and all. But there was a point where I was like, God damn it, can this be over? How many waves do I have to do before I reach a checkpoint? I'm already tired. So, I, I was actually kind of happy with the changes that they did. Oh, well, I suppose the, um, the, 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 the difficulty curve that they did for this DLC. I think that's, that was better. Um, I know that... Uh, well, actually, I learned later that some people were actually upset that this was not as difficult as the other DLC. But, well, I mean, to each their own, you know. Um, to me, it was, it was fine. But having said that... Um, I played the first DLC in that, I mean, I played it the first time in that difficulty in Ultra Violence. Now I'm playing it on Nightmare, just to see how bad it's gonna be. And also because I think watching a little bit of me struggling with life, with life in the game, I mean. <laughs> also with regular life, why not? Um, it's somewhat entertaining, so let's see how this goes. So yeah, th uh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, this technically will be the first time that I'm playing it on this difficulty, so I don't know what to expect. Um, probably a bunch of challenges. But look at this scenery. It looks pretty dope. And I actually liked that, you know, you get to visit new, air, new places. Again, you're in the Sentinel world, but from a different angle, let's say. So, yeah, it, I, I, I like some aspects of this DLC. Some others I don't love, but we'll get to that at some point. Alright, so, uh, very quickly... Oh no! 
No! No! Shit, did I lose all my armor or I didn't have any? I'm not even sure. Um... So, again, uh, now let's talk about the actual technical issues that I said that I was having. So, I don't know if you remember, if you watched my talk through of Doom Eternal when, when it came out, of regular Doom Eternal, that it took me forever to finish it, and I had a lot of troubles recording it uh, right at the beginning. And actually, for the first, I don't know, like three, four videos, I was having so many issues until I eventually figured out a, um, let's say, a formula that worked. So, well, I, I, I think I'm again at that point. Hey, hello. You don't waste any time, do you? Um, I'm having issues again. Um, the, the issue that I'm having right now is that apparently my hard drive is just not fast enough to to stream the content into the game itself. You know, from the hard drive into the into the into the game. This was not a problem before because I had Doom Eternal installed on what was left of my SSD. I said what was left because, you know, I have my SSD where I have the operating system. And with the space that is left in a different partition, that's where I, I installed this thing. I had like, I don't know, 50 gigs free, like 60 gigs free or something like that. Oh, and there's the new enemy, the Screechers. So don't attack those dudes. If you, if you hit, oh shit, I just did. I mean, it's totally on purpose to show you what they do, all right? It was not an error. Completely... What? Oh, they can be frozen. Holy damn, I didn't know that. I mean, of course I knew. I'm just, just showing you how this is supposed to go, right? Don't think I'm a noob at this. Um, so yeah, just shoot them and they buff enemies around you. Uh, around them. Or I suppose in the arena. I don't think it's a, a, a buff as harsh as the buff of a buff... The buff of a... What? Oh, the explosion of the headshot did it. God damn it. I don't think it's a buff as strong as the one from the muscly totem. But... Or the one from the arch vial. But they're definitely buffed. I'll say that much. Not like a spirit either. But still, buff. Trust me. They're a pain in the ass. So yeah, you don't want to hit those dudes. Uh, you can literally live them, uh, live, let them live until you're done with the fight, and then they die by themselves. So, word of advice, don't shoot them. You probably know all of this already, but I'm gonna treat you guys as if you didn't know anything about this DLC, even though I'm late to this party by months, probably. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I was saying that I had Doom Eternal installed on the SSD, and that seemed to work really good. Um... In regards, there we go, they're gonna die. It seemed to work pretty good. So I was happy with that. But then, of course, games as usual keep on using more and 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 more space. And now Doom Eternal doesn't fit anymore on that space left that I had on the SSD. So I saw myself forced to to move Doom Eternal into my regular HDD. HDD? Yeah. Um and in general it plays okay but nowadays i don't know why since the last update it seems that doom eternal now for some reason is slower to to load the resources into from the hard drive into the game so this what this has caused is precisely this issue i don't know if you noticed that sometimes i shoot a gun and the sound may be late by a third of a second half a second or when it's really bad it might be like a full second two seconds before it, it actually plays so it's really annoying buff totem. Do I get to see the... I've never known if I can destroy the buff totem by getting up. I don't think so. Well, maybe I can, but I don't know where it is. And I'm gonna lose all of my health trying to find it. Oh, that's right. I removed the explodey explodey. Alright. Alright. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that sudden third person? I hope that that, that got... That was see watchable or noticeable in the video itself. I am playing at 60 frames per second also because um, at this point I, I'm, I was trying everything to see if I could get the game to, to work better with the sound. There you go. So yeah, that included limiting how many frames. I mean, I would love to play this at 144 as I always do. But, you know, right now all I'm doing is 
Hey, come, come over here, you asshole. You too. And you. Bad thing. Bad thing. So yeah, now I'm playing a bit um with limited performance and all, but honestly, I think it's worth, you know, the, the, the hassle if it's gonna perform decently. And by the way, these videos I'm gonna make them unlike the um the, the playthrough that I did for Doom Eternal in I think the first DLC. Also oh, the BFJ I acquired from somewhere else. Okay, good. The BFJ ammo. Um, these videos are going to be half hour, but they're going to be coming out much, much uh, more frequently. Um, because again, I don't know if you know, but DBT has gone... Oh, hello, new boy. I like this enemy. Interesting combination of shielded and not shielded and all that good stuff. Then weak point. So... Yeah, I don't know if you know, but DBT has gone full-time on Twitch and on YouTube and all this shit. So it would be really cool if you would like the video right now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, leave me a comment right now telling me how much you want it. No, tell me, tell me what's your favorite um, DLC monster from Doom Eternal. Leave me a comment right now for that. Um, and also, if you can subscribe, if you can afford subscribing to my Twitch, which is in the description... Uh, please do, because that's going to help me out in these uncertain times where I no longer have a job. As Whoa, big, big boy. So yeah, I no longer have a, a normal job. That's why I'm going full time on this. Um, if you have watched my streams lately, I talked a lot about this as to my decisions for it. No, I don't want to, you know, talk about that on this video because I don't feel like it's relevant. But yeah, if you can support me on, on Twitch, subscribing or leaving a tip or whatever, I would appreciate it. If you can, no worries, just enjoy the content, if that's enjoyable at all. Uh, but yeah, enough of that. Oh yeah, you saw that? I, I shot the thing, but it didn't do the... Didn't, didn't play the, the, the sound until later. Oh, come on, him. Why you gotta be like that, huh? Whoa, whoa! Jesus! Alright, alright. I was playing a little dumb. Again. And this is, you know... Speaking of Karen Took, since we're playing Doom Eternal, um, I also wanted to play this again. Oh, the, the dash didn't make a noise. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! I'm not being very smart, am I? Um, I wanted to mention Karen Took because uh, my idea of playing this, of course, was to have some Doom Eternal content on my YouTube channel, but also because in order to get back to coming back with the whole idea of, you know, going full time and all, um, a perk of going full time is that I have free time again to work on my hobbies, like uh, working on Doom Eternal. Um, so I, in order to work in Doom Eternal, I need to get back into the, you know, the feeling of I mean, to work in Karen Took, I need to get back into the feeling of Doom Eternal. So that's why I was like, yeah, this would be a nice thing to do. You know, to remember how this was. Oh, and you know what? I didn't set up my runes. Hold on. I don't want this. I want this one. And give me weak point. This generous concussive blast. Concussive blast. That's the one I want. Yeah. There we go. Right, here we go. So, yeah, I really need, needed to get back into the feeling of Doom Eternal in order to keep on working on Karen Tuck. Because honestly, I, it's been a long time since I played proper Doom Eternal. So that's why I'm playing pretty dumb. Because I don't quite remember how to play it. But we will get there, don't worry. And it won't take too long. Just five, six, seven videos and that should be okay. You will be like, oh yeah, this guy actually knows how to play the game. No biggie. So I understand that he does a wink for me to shoot him at that point, the, the big dude with the mace. Oh, he shoots the mace. That's what I was wondering. Like, what does he do if you don't shoot him at that point? Well, now I know. Oh, stop it, you. Oh, boy. Stop it. 
And you're dead. I, I really like that enemy. I like that strange combination of weak point and armor and all of that. Less annoying than a Marauder. Still pretty fun. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, everybody. Easy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I maybe I should have started on an easier difficulty and then moved to a higher one. But man, coming into this game without practice is not a good idea. But I'm learning, all right? You're, you're watching the process of me learning in real time. Well, not real time, because this is not live. But you get my, you get my idea. Yeah, I really need to get back on, on how to play this, you know? We'll see. At least now I know that there's a gigantic tentacle that wants to ahem, ahem, do bad things to me. See, the sounds are a little off, I'm telling you. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to end up buying a, a, a new hard drive. But you weren't even out. How dare you attack? Hit me right then. Annoying. All right. That dude. Was there an armor dude or not yet? Oh shit. Would be better if my aim actually worked. So yeah, I do apologize for the noobish gameplay, but you know. Oh boy! I tried to dash past him, not into him. Come on, do your thing. Dude, could you die? I kind of wanted that help. Alright, alright. Take a chill pill, dude. I want the help. Thank you. Oh my god. I saw I saw a uh, name here. There you are. Yeah, there's a slight delay with the sound. But hey, at least it's playable. Uh, on the first try that I did with this thing, even the textures of the guns were not as uh, showing up properly when you pulled out the weapon. That's how bad it was. Like you would pull out the BFG and it would be black. Great shot, miss, DBT. Great shot. Alright, see? I'm telling you. It's a little bit of practice, that's all. I'm just rusty. It's not that I'm a bad player. I've never been. I've always been a pro player of this game. Never before have I had a trouble, ever. So. Alright, you know what? You're gonna be some ammunition. More monsters are spawning, so I'm missing somebody big, I guess. Oh no, this is just a lot of times. Alright. I could take the help, thank you. Alright, alright everybody. Oh, you saw how the shield didn't spawn, spawn instantly? Oh boy. We're okay, we're okay, don't, don't panic. We're doing okay. See? No problem. Easy peasy. Bumble deezy, because that makes... What? What was that? Who hit me? Oh, it was you, little fucker. Oh, and he hit me again. He's like, yeah, it was me. How about that? What you gonna do about that, huh? Nothing, okay? Nothing. Just take it easy, man. Oh, I thought that was a secret. All right, so there we have it. Mm hmm. So that's not active. I gotta do something else before. Hold on, I'm just exploring. Don't mind me. Just having a quick look at what's around the area. Ooh, what is... Oh, it's a jump pad. There's some armor. 
Man, this place look, looks dope. Lots of green. Alright, so... I don't, I don't care about that extra life. But I suppose now... Oh, Jesus! See, it's been a long time since I played this. So... I don't remember a whole lot of anything. So you'll have to excuse me. Oh, now this is sad. Wait a second. So I just looked around. What was the point of that? Did I press a switch or something? Ah, okay. I see. Wait, wasn't... I thought I had to activate the um, grappling point. Whoa, that aim. Jesus Christ, DBT. Can you aim for the life of you? Apparently you can't. Um, BFG cells somewhere near. And I'm gonna try to be going for all the... Um, lore items and all of that shit. Fortunately, there's not like a ton of reading in this one, so it won't be too painful. I hope. Don't quite remember. More arena fights. But seriously, I'm telling you, the arena fights are not as long. I like that. The the ones in the ancient gods one were like, oh my god, is this ever gonna be over? I'm tired. Like I had fun for sure, but man, they were just unrelenting. I am an old man, what can I do? Ooh, empower demon, where? Where? Oh, beautiful. What? Okay, sure, whatever. Is it me or the um, chain gun sounds slightly different? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Easy, easy, girl. That was Wolfie. There's a Wolfie somewhere. Alright, alright. I feel like I'm getting in. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Alright, so I suppose that's where I gotta go. What is this? Oh, this is the BFG ammo. Uh, what's gonna happen? Oh, hello. Jesus Christ. Well, now I know what's waiting for me. I mean, I don't even need that ammunition point. Do I really want to? Well, I saved on the checkpoint. It's saved on the checkpoint, so. You know what? What? But how? Alright, whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Alright. Well, let me get those bullets. Thank you. No, I'm probably gonna need this. I still don't like this heads-up display indicator of the environment So, To me, it's just confusing. It's noisy. You know what I mean by noisy, right? I just don't like that there's a certain confusion point of, wait a second, is this my armor or is this something else? I don't get it. Granted, for a person that has played this for long enough, it's obvious, right? It's like, oh, no, that's obviously just the, um, ha, jokes on you, fucker. Um... It's, it's obvious, but I kept thinking, like, I, I... It was so enlightening to me uh, watching my wife playing the game. Because it confirmed a bunch of things that I thought that were... Questionable. Oh, hello. Let's say questionable design. I'm not going to say bad design. Just some decisions that I think for new players, it's completely puzzling. But hey, I'm not going to go in there. I've, I've whined about this game enough. The reality is that I like it a ton. I just have some gripes here and there. That's all. That's all. Don't hate me. Or I'm gonna come with my hot takes of weapon modules and all of that to have a bunch of people tell me how I'm doing it wrong and you know all oh, that circle of life 
All right. I'm sorry, Mikey, but that, that drop down looked a little bit fake. I think you're overdoing it. I think you your aspiration of an acting career will not be helped by your exaggerated overacting. Whoa, platform. I haven't even found a single lore thingy, so yay. Oh Jesus, I'm I'm itchy. Okay, so I gotta jump there and then meet hook, right? And I think it, when you take those things, it resets your cooldown for the, um, the internal cooldown of the mid group. So that's dope. So, oh, now I have to go up there, right? Wait. Nice. Oh. I didn't mean to fall down. I wanted to see if there was something else to pick. Oh well. If there was, it's gone. Irrecoverable. Oh no, it's gonna be another one of those fights in a little sphere. Half a sphere, isn't it? <sighs> oh boy. Let's do it. What is it this time? What is it this time? Oh, it's purple shit, isn't it? Yay! Everybody's favorite environmental hazard um that was a thing I could change with them cool so I need more ammo spasima did you see the flame belch I, I said did you see and it was I'm talking about time but the flame belch sound didn't quite play Telling you, this is annoying. Oh boy. Oh great. I can't even jump. Whoa. All right. Jumpy corpse, you know, normal stuff. Oh, okay, and then, then let me just drop down over here. Okay, let's try that again, but without hitting the, um, them creatures. How about that? Let's play as I am supposed to play. All right, no headshots. That's what I did learn. No headshots, because when you do headshots, the explosion can hurt this creature. And next thing you know, you have buff demons, even though you didn't directly hit them. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I do a quadruple headshot? Oh my god, how many headshots was that? Like five. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, just a... Oh, great. So when you hit a weak point, um, it's just a concussive blast, meaning it doesn't deal damage. So it doesn't actually hurt the creature. Oh, this fucker! All right, all right. Let's finish this. Let's finish this this fight to finish this video. How about that? So that we end up in a high, instead of because you know uh, that's one thing I learned. If I stop a video uh, and then I have to go straight into a fight in the next video, in the next video I come in cold. I don't have any practice, so I do absolutely terrible. So it is on me right now to actually play decent and make life for future dbt easier that's a thing i didn't hit him on the head what the fuck i specifically hit the goddamn chest stupid big head hit boxes now i'm half tempted to just ooh. okay okay stop it you stop it Where's the other one? Where's the other one? No! Alright, alright. Take a chill pill, everybody. 
That didn't count as damage, did it? Hey, you're supposed to be inside of this place, not out there. How dare you? Now let's be let's be really careful on who we pick over here. Let's not hit Mr. I have big vocal cords. And then make everybody angry with my voice. Ha! Ah, see? No problem. We ended right at the 30 minute mark. That's beautiful. See, I'm telling you, DBT has this perfectly planned. So there you have it. This is the new series for YouTube. The 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 DLC of Doom Eternal. The Ancient Gods. Part 2. So, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this, enjoying this again. If you like it, leave a like on the video. Leave me comments right now telling me um, how bullshit was this room with the two mancubas. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And again, if you can support me on Twitch, please do. Because I would really, really, really appreciate it. But thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care, everybody. And stay safe. Bye-bye.